I don't know, but... No, you know what you need, Chantal? You need to get your butt out of the Middle East. You need to go back to Canada, and you need to start living a life that isn't just a big scam. I mean, this is silly. You're, you're going to be 40 years old. You're out here, I mean, following some 29-year-old thinking that he's going to love you and marry you and make a life with you and whatever. Girl, come on. He laughs at you. He makes fun of you. I mean, why do you think you're over there with him? Because you guys are living it up? I mean, yeah, you really look like you're living it up. You really look like you're happy. What you need to do is you need to go back to Canada. You need to start putting in hard work. And you need to, if a relationship is really what you want, if that's your end game in life, I know it is for some people. If that's really what you want, someone to love you, someone to call you baby, someone to give you affirmations, whatever. I mean, slow steps. I mean, whatever. Get on the dating apps. Work on yourself. Get back to a point where you can walk for more than a minute without getting dizzy. I mean, that would, if I were that in that place, that would be my number one priority. Not who's going to call me baby when I put my head down at night. I mean, girl, come on. I mean, you're not going to be able to heal in this environment, let alone thrive. You're talking about energy. You're sitting here telling us how you're about to fall asleep. Uh, So you're getting help. And you want to dunk on Chantel? And that's why I think Shannon and FFG's chemistry is so beautiful, because they're so similar. FFG has to be the hero. That's why she has to always dunk on Chantel with something. Like, when she did the thing with F- uh, BBJ, I stand on this. She did her big one. She did her big one with that one. Especially with the way Chantel was running her mouth, talking about FFG's dogs. and all. When I saw her pull that off, I said, Leave it to Chantel to have me applaud FFG. I was pissed. I was like, this was so good. She trolled the fuck out of you. Oh, my God. So just so we're clear, and you heard it here first. What happened with BBJ, rescuing BBJ? The BBJ rescue um, to FFG will be with um, the 89 LBs are to Amber. You will always hear about it for years to come. Always. That's never going to die. She did her big one. She had to make it public. And for those saying, oh, it was for the money. I think you guys forget. I've said this before. Multiple things can be right at once. She did her big one and definitely helped BBJ. Because at this point, I think almost anybody's better than Chantel. But yes, of course it was for the money. If it wasn't for the money, she would have. she wouldn't have made it public. Of course it was for the money. Are you kidding? The bitch held the whole, she shopped for BBJ's collar on stream. She shopped for a cat to get a Gucci collar for a cat. Of course it was for money. But I'm not gonna take away the fact that like, at least she got BBJ, but yes, it was for money. Yes, it was for content. Are you crazy? That is her 89 LBs, bitch. She is never letting that go. That will always be content in some way. Isms, so. Uh, French fried girls should be worried because Chantal was threatening to sue again. Uh, shadowed that she might have returned to Canada to handle some other business and she would handle that while she was there. Um, I would be terrified if I was French fried girl. So terrified. This is the woman who couldn't even make a vet appointment and she's going to coordinate a multi person lawsuit because she felt duped about her cat being given to somebody else, by her to somebody else. Um, but she couldn't tell you who because the selfish bitch wouldn't even walk down the stairs to go say bye. She handed it to Pete's. Again, many reasons we can't follow through with our commitments. So, um, And Chantal doesn't have much tolerance for distress or discomfort. If something isn't exactly the way she wants to eat it, she's not going to eat it. If it's not the right temperature, she's not going to eat it. Um, so you would think someone as large as her would be much more picky. But, uh, or be much less picky, but actually some of the more morbidly obese people I know are rather picky about their food. And like other folks who deal with addiction, uh, can get pretty nasty if they don't get what they want. How many people think that they've probably fought about food a couple times already? I'm sure he was fine with her coming over, but she probably, she farted out a bunch of promises initially that she was gonna, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym and lose weight and it'll be great and I'll be going to the beach and we'll be travel-beezing. If you're too fat for a plane, you gotta do something. 
because now you can't even get out of there in a hurry if you need to. Um, there's no shame in buying two plain seats if you need them, but if you don't like that you need them or that you're cutting it close to needing them, whose job is it to change the shape of Chantal's body? Yours? Mine? A pill? Some Ozempic? No, it comes down to Chantal and what she chooses to do. At this point, she's had more resources and opportunities and access to treatment over the years that most people don't give a shit how she feels or that she probably can't handle all of her ADLs maybe on her own because she was always such a nasty, self-centered person that her discomfort brings people pleasure. We've heard of schadenfreude. You know, it's the same sort of thing. I don't So we saw some boats pass by while we were hanging out by the riverside and decided after we were done hanging out by the river to see if we could find a dock and take a boat ride ourselves. On our way- It was his hard earned money to try to buy her food that would support her health. And then either she ordered it without him or he came to reason of, look, I don't love you so much that $250 isn't worth risking your health to me. So if you really love me, Chantal, really, really love me, you'll go on there, eat yourself half to death, and give me the cash. So, I don't know. So and she wants privacy. Okay. And uh, where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? He's out with the boys. Thailand, from what I understand, has a very, very active sex scene. So, um, I'm sure he'll text you. But at any rate, this week we're going to... But she's sitting there, not a lot of people around, but it was the old eyes darting. Remember the outhouse? Or going for Burger King and then sitting in the parking lot, full face of makeup, looking all over the place to see who's looking and who's watching. She's out proud and doesn't care, but hawks like she's ashamed of what she's engaging in. So when she's sitting there with Sala eating, and there's people, you know, not a lot of people, because they go everywhere when it's closed. She's afraid of people, and they want to be able to film, and they're weird. They're weird. She likes getting attention, but standing out doesn't really... Like, I think she probably feels like people are staring, because they are staring. It's a spectacle. She's four times the size of a normal woman. So I think people are going to stare. That's, that shouldn't be unexpected. Is it rude? Is it cruel? I don't know. Bottom line, it shouldn't be unexpected. And to act shocked would be kind of stupid as well you've read about it a little bit and saw it on TikTok. Please look better after yourself. Take better care of yourself. If not you, for your husband that you told us you love so much, how much do you love him if you're willing to eat yourself to death? Because it's too difficult to try to get better. Beyond 36 hours. If you're a I'm not a 12-stepper, but the bondage of self. She's so obsessed with meeting her own wants and needs that she, to her inadvertently, steps on people and hurts people in that way. There's another side of Chantal that is a complete sociopath and pretty much doesn't care about feelings, doesn't know how to act. That's why we had the, the wedding cake and candles and she erupted like she was gonna shit her pants because she doesn't know what happiness feels like so she doesn't demonstrate what it looks like. She doesn't know love. She doesn't know any of those feelings. And so with all this spinning in her head, her marriage on the line, her citizenship being up, she goes on a diet. One, I'm pretty, okay? That has a lot, and I, I don't mean that to be conceited. I'm being very matter of fact. Being pretty gets you a lot of privilege. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you can get away with a lot if you're pretty. Number one, I'm pretty. Okay, guys, so this is the trailer um, for Femme. Um, it's been released in Europe, but it's out. It's a thriller, and it's a, I've seen it. It's a fantastic film. It is out in Spain, and it is out in the U.S., um, on March the 22nd. So here is the trailer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
man in his high heels. <laughs> well, you can't turn around if you're a fucking man. You're letting them win. How do you want to deal with that? I think you're nice looking at them. On your front. I'm a nice guy. If you disrespect me, fuck you up. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same. Oh, you're not. You're a fucking big man. I'm best remember not to fuck with you then. Hi guys, and welcome to Tailored Talk. So, today I wasn't even going to do the Q&A. Um, I was actually going to do some of her exercise videos, but the Q&A was a complete mess. So, I've decided to go with the Q&A. So, let's, ta- let's take a look. I put a little bit out on Twitter, but I haven't seen the whole thing. So, I thought, why not just do a video? Let's take a look. So, this is Answering Your Questions, part one. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I missed you guys, but I'm finally here to do the Q&A. So, it's going to probably be more than one video because there's so many questions. So, I'm just going to work my way down with the ones that have the most likes. Um, I'm going to say right now, I'm just going to... And, um, on a forum... A poster said that Chantal has like funeral home, ma- a funeral home makeup style, and I completely agree. Why is it always so pale and gothic? It just ages her so much. Lump all of these Salah questions into one answer. Uh, where's Salah? Um, what's he doing? Blah 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 blah. Um, I will not be answering. She she doesn't lump them together. She talks about this throughout the whole video. Bring that. That's um, we're a hundred percent keeping everything related to that private. And he, all I can say, he is offline because he chooses to. We're not embarrassed. Um, he we on that next level. It wants to be offline. He wants to do other things with his life. He just, you know, this is not it for him. Um, he doesn't want to be on YouTube at all anymore. And I respect that. And it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with me controlling him. I would like to continue with the couple's videos. If I'm quite honest, I would love to. Um, Guys, I'm staying silent during this because she talks about this through all, throughout the whole video. And I know that I'm going to repeat myself. Because I don't care what people think about our relationship. I, you know, make the choices I make in my life. And, um, yeah, I would love to make videos with him still. But um, he doesn't want to. So it's just going to be me. So you will not be seeing Salah anymore on in videos. Um, So, yeah, that's the answer to that question. Someone asked, why does he film you in the most unflattering ways? Um, listen, he doesn't think that way, and I don't think that way. Like, Yeah, of course he does. He has a degradation um, fetish. Of course he does. Have you seen the text yet, foodie? Like, I'm not ashamed of my body in any angle. Of course. That's why you use 10 filters every video. I am... You know, not a coward. I'm not shy. I show my whole body in every angle. But but the face. But your face is always filtered. Well, I am who I am. And I mean, I'm not ashamed of myself. You always say that. But the videos that you put out say otherwise. So I don't mind being shot in different angles. I actually tell him what angles to shoot me in. I, d- I don't think you do, but anyways. And then what to do. I, d- I, d- I don't believe you. Um, I kind of... I mean, all the Im- all the angles. Now Kybella's released the text. All the, all the angles, all the times that Salah could have helped you, but didn't. It all makes sense with the Kybella texts released. It all makes sense direct him how i want to be like filmed so 
I do it for different angles just to switch things up a bit. I'm not like a catfish and I don't like hold my camera high up here. Most yeah, but how are you not a catfish when your Tinder profile says different? All you've done is catfish men since you joined Tinder. The only guy that you didn't catfish was Pete's, and that's only because you met him in high school. Most of the time to make myself look thinner because um, I'm just not fake like that. So, but you, but yeah, but you know, you know that's a lie because the filters are to the max. The trolleys that you get when you go shopping, they're always super thin trolleys because the filters are, are maxed out. So, okay. Oh. That's your answer. If Salah moved out, would you pretend that you were still living together and continue to live in Kuwait alone whilst paying him to film your vlogs? That's exactly what's happening. I think Salah's already gone, to be completely honest. Or would you go back to Canada? I mean, that, that's, that's, that's exactly what's happened. Sorry, I'll skip back. To make myself look thinner because um, I'm just not fake like that. So that's your answer. If Salah moved out, would you pretend that you were still living together and that's exactly what's happening. Continue to live in Kuwait alone whilst paying him to film your vlogs. Yeah, I mean, she's practically living alone anyway. He's never there anyway. Or would you go back to Canada? Um, this question makes no sense to me. Why on earth would I move back here to live by myself? Well, well, because you because you need to check up on Salah. It's easier for you to, to check up on Salah while you're here than it is in Canada. But then he does leave you alone because Kuwait is his hometown. So of course he's going to leave you alone for hours at a time. Like, no, I would never live here by myself. No, you, you practically are. He's never there. He's never home. Number one, um... I wouldn't even be able to live in this apartment by myself. As I've said many times, I guess people just don't listen when I talk or they choose not to believe it. That's fine. But um, you're believing false information because you can't live in this apartment unless you're married. Yeah, but if they think that you're his mother, then they don't need a marriage certificate. If they think that you're relatives, it's not a problem. No, no marriage certificate needed. So we had to show our marriage certificate to the apartment owner in order to live here. Um, we don't show it to online strangers because it's none of their business and we don't owe them shit. So that, that being said, um, yeah, I would not live here. Um, I would definitely. Yeah, but you don't, you won't show your marriage certificate, but you'll show all your doctor's appointments and your, um, your, your stool that you put in a cup and the pee that you had to put in a cup for testing like and all your medical information and your diabetic information but the marriage certificate is too much i don't know if i would go back to canada but i would maybe do something else i don't know hi foodie from trashy girl 434 like foodie quick question how did you manage to gain 13 pounds well how do you think she usually gains weight um <laughs> like i can't believe she's gonna pause on this one it's called binging binge eating disorder you could probably google it where you eat thousands of calories at once um also the type of food i would eat a lot of sodium would help would make me retain a lot of fluid so it's very easy to go up in pounds when you have binge eating disorder i hope that answers your question um but i've been doing oh you're just a glutton so doing really well i haven't binged in a while I, d I don't believe you for a second look at your body look at your face like stop stop lying you binge every day while Salah is out there with god knows who come on um okay do you ever think you'll actually do what doctors tell you i've already lost body parts from the beatus and what oh my god what you are doing is so scary please stop <laughs> Oh dear. Um, I try to do what the doctors tell me. No, she doesn't. I've been to a diabetes doctor, an endocrinologist, and I told you guys what he told me to do. And still people come at me and say, he's not right. He shouldn't tell you to eat carbs. Um, actually, he goes for a more balanced way of eating. So like, um, I'll put some screenshots, but like basically, yeah, just food balance. 
and um, combining carbs with, you know, healthy carbs with other food groups. So I am trying to do that. If I fail, it's because um, I either just just have slip ups, you know, that happens. Yeah, but you never stick to the diet. So every everything is a slip up. It's like Amberlynn and a cheat meal. Like you're always when you're always on takeout, there's no such thing as a cheat meal, you know? Okay, why are you doing reaction videos? Why did you change your mind in less than 24 hours? Because she can't react to save her life. That's why. I did put a community post. You could probably go read it if you didn't. Why I chose to change my mind again. But this will <laughs> be the last time I'm not engaging yeah, sure. with any drama, any people that aren't worth my time or energy, um, which is one of the reasons. But also the main reason is I try to listen to about two minutes um, and of the material I would have to react to and I wanted to tear my eardrums out so there's no way I'm there's no money on earth worth listening to that um, palava for more than two minutes so no yeah yeah but you listen to them all the time off camera so what would be the difference on camera what's the difference you don't have anyone to spend time with in Kuwait, so you spend the rest of your time watching reaction videos off camera anyways. So how long is Salah grounded from the internet? As long as he wants to be. He... <laughs> she's, re she's really getting pissed off. You grounded that man. You told him that he couldn't go on the internet anymore. Doesn't want to come online. That's not true. That's not that he doesn't want to come online. It's, um, and of the material i would have to react to and i wanted to tear my eardrums out so there's no way i'm there's no sorry guys i skipped back money on earth worth listening to that um palava for more than two minutes so no yeah so how long is salah grounded from the internet as long as he wants to be he, he, he doesn't want to be you clearly told him that he has to stay offline he doesn't want to come online that's a that's a lie that's a lie I mean, um i can't blame him the internet is really toxic that's never stopped him from coming online before he is the, he's the same man that's done all these really weird couple vlogs pinched your cheeks danced like michael jackson in madame two swords you know um you know pushed you on a tuk tuk pushed you on a boat like you know he is the ultimate fame whore like stop lying and it's probably better like if i didn't love my beezers and i didn't that's got nothing to do with beezer love and everything to do with money like the attention of making videos and entertaining people i wouldn't want to be on here either trust me like if i wasn't making you've, you've never you've never been on here to entertain let's be honest probably better like if i didn't love my beezers and i didn't like the attention of making videos and entertaining people it's I, all to do with the attention and the money i wouldn't want to be on here either trust me like if i wasn't making money from the internet exactly but um i wouldn't be doing it yeah if I, if you weren't making your paycheck from youtube you'd still be doing it anyway but you just wouldn't there'd be no motivation for you to do it you, you're just an attention whore just like your husband so just to reiterate it's a hundred percent salah's choice not to be on the internet and i will never believe you because he's a bigger fame whore than you and all he's ever done is come on here pinch your cheeks and i fuck the camera because you told him that he could be a youtube star and he still wants to be a youtube star so stop lying stop lying when he says that he wants to be off offline I don't control him if you yes you do you do control him the reason that you're back in Kuwait is so that you can control him with manipulation and with money really wanted to come online that would be up to him no 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 because if he came offline you would if he came online you would punish him so what would you do restrict the money not buy him things anymore like if he came online right now you would punish him for it that's why he's not online. That's why his gaming channel is dead. But like I said, I want to do couples videos, but he doesn't. I, d I don't believe you for one second. 
there's no way that you can do couples videos when you know every every when every day you'd be getting shit and toilet emojis like there's just no way you can do a couples couples um content right now kybella is still fresh that's why why are you not taking insulin to get your blood sugars back to normal and avoid further damage to your body? You were not able to do it with just medication. 10 is not a good fasting blood sugar. So this is the point where your doctor should be putting you on insulin. Okay, so Goral Lash, I'm not a doctor. Uh I do like it when people who are diabetic come on here and give her facts. <laughs> um, I did bring that up to him. He doesn't think I need to be on insulin, so he didn't prescribe me insulin. Um, actually, 10 for now, it hasn't been that long. I've been on medication, and it was went from 23 to 10, so that is pretty good right now. Um, if it doesn't go down in the future, maybe we'll look at that. I don't know, but uh, I also haven't been completely eating in a very diabetic-friendly way, so... Well, you never do, so... I mean, that's no secret. I don't hide that from the internet. Um, well, you do, because you pretend that you're dieting, so you do hide it from the net occasionally. So, yeah, I mean, that's why my doctor didn't prescribe it. All right, why not come clean about the couple's channel and Salah? If he's not coming back, why are you together if what you wanted was a couple's channel in the first place? Exactly. You may as well go back to Canada. The couple's the couple's dream is over. Why did you go back to Kuwait? It's a good question. Come clean about what? I've said he does not want to continue being online. That that's that's a lie. He wants to be online just without the stigma of being interested in very horrible violent fantasies and without the ship fetish jokes. You know, he wants to come back online with a clean slate. That's what he wants. Um, if he's not coming back, why are you together? So you're basically saying that the entire reason, and you choose to believe that the entire reason we're together is just for content? Yes, exactly. Because what else are you good for? Like, can you answer any, anybody that? Sorry, my throat went out. Can you can you answer that? Like, what else are you and Salah good for? Because you're not you're not a convincing couple, but you're good car crash content. Well, then that's your problem. Is there's something called love? <laughs> okay. Oh my God, there's something called desperation, money, and and papers for immigration. Yeah, this is a. I don't even know. Have you looked at the symptoms of oppositional defiant disorder and borderline personality disorder? No. Do you believe you might be experiencing disorders? Is it Guys, I I really just think she's a spoiled brat in this in this regard. Of course I'm not a doctor, but I think she's just a spoiled brat. I don't think that she's got any defiance disorder. It's just that like her mother her mother her mother her grandmother and her stepdad just raised her to be a spoiled brat like they never told her no that's why she's in the position that she's in is it possible that you're addicted to stress no additionally why are you not interested i mean she likes the chaos and she likes drama but not stress i'm learning to speak arabic arabic especially considering your desire to live there for a while that's a good question. Why don't you, why haven't you tried to learn? Your husband's first language and as a means to show appreciation for the culture. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, that's a great question because you're lazy and you don't give a shit about your husband. This is why people say that it's fake. Not to mention is that Salah does make the effort to talk to you in English. He does make the, well, he wants Canada. He wants Canada, so that's why he's making the effort. But Foodie has been there over a year, back and forth, a little over a year now, and and can't say one sentence in Arabic. Can't quote the Quran. You know, do, does not greet. You know, does not greet us with a um, an Arabic hello. 
or say goodbye with an Arabic goodbye. Like just basic, basic words in Arabic. And she can't be bothered to learn. But she'll wrap herself up in the hijab and abaya, but can't say one thing in Arabic, you know? And this is why people think that it's fake. I appreciate the culture. Doesn't mean I have to speak the language. <laughs> How do you appreciate the culture? You appropriate the culture, but I don't think you appreciate the culture. Um, I might learn Arabic. I'm learning slowly with him, but I might take a course in the future. I don't know. That's such a good question because she's so full of shit. I'm focusing on other things right now. Um, I don't. Besides binging and lying around and eating, like besides binging and sleeping, what are, what have you got got on right now? There's nothing to stop you from going to classes, female only classes, nothing. No, why a oppositional defiant disorder? Um, I don't know. I mean, are you a psychiatrist? I don't know. Are you suggesting that that's what I have? Um, I, I've been to many psychiatrists and they've never mentioned that. So thanks for the question. Why is one side of your face swollen along with your eye? Have you seen a doctor about this? My and, the, and now she's going to pretend like she doesn't know what they're talking about. I'm going to insert some clips. face is swollen on one side yeah, yes it is it's and it's your left side and people have discussed this forever and you just say i don't know i don't know why it's swollen or my face isn't swollen i don't know what you're talking about i don't see it yeah of course you don't because of the 20 filters like of course you don't um you know if you're not even going to be honest why do this q a like we all have eyes and you've got 10 filters. So like what? Maybe you're looking too much at my face. I don't know. Well, there's nothing else to look at, you know, foodie. You're like, you're 400 and something pounds. Uh, if you end up too ill or bed bound and become unable, these are like the dumbest questions I've ever read in my life. <laughs> like you, uh, you told everybody to submit questions for a Q and A. Now you're annoyed because you don't like where this is going. Like you set up this Q&A, they're good questions and answer them for God's sake. Like the nerve of you to say, ask me anything. And then when they ask you anything, your beezers who pay your bills, you sit here on your couch that they've paid for and then say, these are the dumbest questions ever, which is just like, these, these are making you uncomfortable and you don't want to answer them. They're not dumb questions. This is, I know why, why I'm annoyed is because I know where this comes from because reaction channels will sit there on panels for two hours talking about contriving these stupid theories. If you end up too ill or bed bound and become unable to make YouTube videos, what's your backup plan to make enough money to continue living how you are without issue? Listen, if I become bed bound, which won't happen because I literally just did a video of walking, but okay. But so what? So what? I don't understand. First of all, oh God, we're going to have to take a look at these videos. But like, that doesn't change the fact that you're super morbidly obese and extremely sick. Like, I, we'll take a look at the videos. Um, if I become better. Like, what, what, you know, you say, you always say losing 200 pounds. Then why have you gained 13? Like, stop, like, pissing on people and telling us that it's raining. Like, bound for some reason, then YouTube would be the easiest form of making money. When yeah, and I'm sure that's what Life by Jen thought. And then she ended up leaving this earth broke. Like, girl. Did not. I mean, you just have to lay there. I'm sitting here. I can lay there and also talk to you guys and go live or whatever. Um... But I'm not the type of person who like sits here and thinking, what if, what if, what if? No, I live my life and don't worry about that. That's a lie. Because if you didn't, if you just lived your life, you wouldn't be back in Kuwait early. 
you stay up night you stay up at night thinking what if what if that's why you're back in kuwait like a, a couple of weeks after you've well no less than a week after you after the scandal broke out when you were meant to go back like a month later or something you were actually you left early and then you were gonna stay in canada for for a few months it was gonna be your visa one and you were going to stay in Canada for, for for months to the point where um, Salah was inviting to the point where Salah um, redid the flat, redid the house, redid the apartment and then was going to bring in multiple women over the next few weeks because he, he thought that you were gone for months. So that's why. You know that you because because you live your life in oh what if what if what if that's why you rushed back to Kuwait. Further, <laughs> so to to make out that you're just some easygoing person is wrong. Any ideas for videos with Salah when he returns? I suggest you should have Salah read out a hostage apology note in an orange outfit in the desert next to you with the vegetable pointed to his head. <laughs> yeah, um, seriously. If that, he won't be coming back, but that's a funny idea. But but that, he won't be coming back, it's very certain. I mean, I thought you said that it was Salah's choice. So why why is it so definite for you that he's not coming back? What if Salah wakes up one day and decides that he may come back? You know, you don't say if he comes back, that that would be funny. You just say, oh, he's not coming back. But how do you know that he could decide in the next couple of days that he wants to go back and start his gaming channel again? You know, will you allow him to do that, though? Yeah, I like that. There are about 7,500 Canadians living in Kuwait. Why have you not reached out and made friends with any of them? That's a good question. I don't really care what culture you're from, like to make friends with. Um, if anything, I'd probably rather make friends with like locals. Then why haven't you? Why haven't you? Because I have a lot of Canadian friends. Like, I want something different. Well, where were all your Canadian friends back in Canada? And how come none of us have seen them in the last few years? All we've seen is Pete's and the Cats for, like, the last the last six, seven years. Where's all these Canadian friends? It's like Anne Boleyn when she um, was talking about all these friends that she went out with, with her and wifey. And they went to the bar and they had fun. And her friend, her male friend, picked out her Instagram questions. And then when her, her and wifey broke up, then Amber was like, I had to call my mom because I had no, I have nobody in Kentucky. Like... Why why do you guys why do you girls lie so much? Like we know that you don't have large friendship groups. We know how it ended um with Shannon. You know, we know that you're not a girls girl. We know that you don't have female friends. We we know that the only reason you've got Pete's is to keep him on retainer in case you two want to move back in again. Like why do you lie about such Obvious, such blatant obvious things that I, um i have i don't trust anybody like i don't i've had people reach out to me wanting to meet meet and like hang out I, I don't believe you i don't believe you just for the hygiene issues alone i don't believe you i don't believe you the only person that's willing to meet you is s jam now but i don't i don't trust anyone on the and this is the same woman that trusted amy flowers with bbj and look at what happened miss miss i don't trust anyone where where is your cat now she's she's ffg's niece because you trust way too quickly but go on from the internet so i'm a little apprehensive about that um also you just threw your cat away to Amy, a, a random stranger who told you that they were bed bound. But okay. I just don't really have time to focus on making new friendships. Making new friendships with people is draining and it takes a lot. But you have time to binge and eat a pie with your hands. Okay. A lot of energy and I need to focus all that on bettering myself right now. Have you or do you consider your life out of control when it comes to your ability to control your eating? But foodie making one friend isn't going to kill you 
but you know she you she hates other women that's the problem she can't befriend any other men because she can't speak to men over here and she hates women so eating and control your health well yeah <laughs> i thought that was pretty obvious if so have you considered inpatient or an outpatient program yes and i've been to both um when 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 have you been to inpatient sorry I've tried to get into an inpatient program in Ottawa and they have very limited beds. Um, and are you on a waiting list or what? The outpatient program pretty much did nothing for me. They put me on Vyvanse and that made me feel like I was on like a hard drug. What would you do if YouTube ended? No idea. Um, well, you'd have to get a regular job. Life would go on, though. I mean, that's it, you know? Well, obviously, but what would you do? I never stay stuck for a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah, it says the same woman that was in a platonic relationship with Pete for six, seven years until she managed to, throw, to get herself nader. Um, did you really walk those 3,000 plus steps or did Salah walk most of them? what we you know that's just a yes or no question foodie walked alongside that's how he was able to film me i don't understand what you're talking about <laughs> i was in like the majority of the shots so no and i even showed like my phone no i walked them um would you take on the challenge of giving up rice for veggies for one entire week yeah i would for sure yeah no problem i love veggies i do um just because I'm not able to always control my binge eating doesn't mean that I don't like vegetables. I do love vegetables. So yeah, I would definitely try that sometime. I have spent a lot of energy in my life. I am old in the pursuit of men. Don't all women like want a partner or most of them? Watching my weight and changing my personality and fussing over them. And you know what I have realized? Men don't like women at all. It takes age and life experiences before they even really care about other people. Even their woman. Yeah, well, Foodie doesn't really care about anybody else either, so... I don't... I think you're talking about personal experience. If, well, she's talking about you, but... You never had to pursue a man. What would you do with your life? What are your interests? Um, I don't think that... <laughs> That's such a good question. That's such a good question. I... That's brutal, though, but it's such a good question. My life has anything to do with pursuit of man. I could. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, all you've done since well, since Frank is pursue men. That's all you've done. Leave and be single right now, and of course, that's why you're. Uh, that's why you travel to Kuwait, and you're now in a in a hijab and a buyer to impress a complete stranger with a shit fetish still have my independent life yeah but you're, you're never independent though because before salah was pete's so like um before before you know before salah was nader before nader was pete's you know so before pete's was bb before bb was pete's again so i definitely love Salah and you know I fell in love and that wasn't planned it's not something that I planned it's not like I was like oh, I need a man I need a man well yeah you went on um, you did tinder worldwide how is that not planned um I don't need a man I want a man actually maybe I do need a man I I need um someone you know supportive and um, yeah if Salah is so supportive then where is he if Salah is so supportive, then why isn't he making money on his gaming channel for you? If Salah is so supportive, where's his money? Where's his job? Um, I need romance and attention and... Yeah, but you don't, you don't get any. That's the saddest thing, though. It's not like you moved for love. You, you moved for status of having a man. And that's sad. I'm just going to rewind it just a little tad. I need romance and attention. That's so sad. That's so sad that you and you've you've never had that. Not really. That's sad. 
that's sad that you've moved all this way and you throw that man your money and he doesn't give you anything you know except for i am your husband i love you baby do you you know how many burgers do you want today like that's sad and intimacy but you don't get any you don't you don't get attention romance or intimacy whether physical or emotional you don't you don't get any of that that's sad i almost feel sorry for you almost intimacy is a huge thing in my life (laughs) oh no is this is this like a shot at kybella and um so yeah i don't really understand the question i guess yeah you know exactly what they're trying to say and it's a great question but it's brutal i could like i said i could i've never really pursued a man like but you've always had one though to the point where it ruined my life like okay i'll just insert nado and dd i've always just always worked always had my own life you know not really You've always had a man connected to you. And so much so that if you were to leave Salah for good, you'd be with Pete's again. So you can't be alone. And I think it's now more to do with your weight more than anything else. Because if you were slimmer, I I think Pete's would be out of the picture if you were like 200 and something pounds. So I don't I don't really understand your question fully, but yeah you do you do you just don't you just can't answer it properly i hope that answers it not really um sorry guys i don't like to sit in one position for too long it's painful though you uprooted what life and family yeah but you're totally independent says the woman that can't sit in the same position for like 20 minutes because your back starts to sting but you're completely independent and you do not need home help or a man connections you had in Canada for Kuwait and everything you thought it was going to be um what if in five years time something happens to your family okay I'll answer that first part you uprooted what life and family connections you had for Kuwait and everything you thought it was going to be um if you're referring to the event that happened with my husband and I as it completely ruining ruining everything we had built that's where the reason I'm here it's because it didn't because that's where I outweighed everything we had with um, what we talked about in private and promise new promises we made to each other we are starting again a new and um, moving on so Kuwait is everything I had imagined and I maybe didn't foresee that But the thing is, she had no expectations for Kuwait because she just wanted to see Salah. So she knew it was hot. She knew she'd have to stay in a lot, but she does that anyway. So I don't think she had any high expectations um, for Kuwait. That happening, that event happening. But maybe that was my error. Maybe I was naive and um, needed to realize that there was there were some communication issues in our relationship that we had to fix foodie your husband just likes slim white women he likes sperm everywhere and he likes rough extremely rough physical sex and likes to piss and shit on women and smear it on women that's nothing to do with communication between you two and all to do with fantasies that he can't reenact with you and um other than that everything else i really enjoy about being here so to answer that what if in five years time something happens to half your family and they are no longer there will you regret leaving stability in pursuit of needing to belong to a man relationship oh honey i don't know how long you've been watching me for but if you think that my life in canada was stable please go back and watch my live streams well it it could have been stable if you hadn't have been chasing a crackhead while addicted to while making drugs a habit and being on weed all the time and flashing i mean you had the choice to make it stable you didn't from a year ago okay um (laughs) i'm so much more stable now than i was back then 
Uh, yeah, but you're still like a vile anti-Semitic racist. So I don't. You haven't changed. You haven't changed, have you? Um, I don't regret leaving my family because everyone has the right to pursue their happiness, even if that's not. I mean, I, even when I lived in Canada, I didn't see my family every single day. Everyone has their own lives. Um, you know, like I can go back anytime, like I did in around Christmas, and see my family. So, will I regret not seeing them as much? I mean, I'm making the decision to be here, right? So if something happens and they get sick, yeah, I would go back and be with them for sure. But as it stands now, I'm totally fine with going back and seeing them maybe once or twice a year. And wow. I talk wow. That's not much at all. I talk to them every day. So I don't know where people get, I don't know if they're projecting or they're thinking of themselves when they say I need to belong to a man. Um, you know, people see me as like weak and pathetic for running back here. Again, you don't fully know our relationship, everything we build other than this. Well, yes, we, we do. We do know your relationship because you have a couples channel, which you regularly posted videos on uh until when you until you got back from thailand when you got back to kuwait from thailand it kind of stopped but for a year or so you've been you've been um posting regularly on your channel so we know what your relationship's like you have a whole year's worth of couples videos one slip up um with the text messages it wasn't in real life i mean people yeah but he was gonna invite he invited her over like days after you'd left he invited her over the only reason that he could that he she's wasn't well the only reason she's not interested number one but number two he didn't have the money to bring her over if Salah had money you know and she was interested Carbella would have been over there People think that I'm like weak or something uh for running back here and trying to make my marriage work over that mishap um I think I'm strong to be dealing with all of these things and you know I don't have to be here you know I choose to be here I could be anywhere in the world I want to I have that um freedom fortune I'm fortunate enough mashallah to be able but your husband doesn't that that's the issue well to work you know successful enough on in social media to be able to work wherever I want in the world um I this is, you know, my husband is not the only man on the planet. Um, I choose to be with him. I love him. And I think. Well, he's he's the only one that gave you a swipe. So that our marriage is worth working on. Um, people get very small snippets of what we deal with and what we talk about, what we go through. So what happens if Salah up and leaves you because it isn't what he wanted after all? Okay, then that happens and I'll deal with it. Like I said. <laughs> uh, you don't you'll see her on the news, basically. She'll be she'll be in a prime time slot in the news on some kind of dateline slot, some true crime daily slot. She she'll she'll lose her mind. Of the language, you don't know customs or laws. Um, a lot of people who travel don't really know all that. And I do know the custom and customs and laws a lot now. And I have my husband here as a translator. Um, you have no, but he's never home. Friends. I do have friends. I talk to online and there's no family will fly to Kuwait to see you. What if you have a near death experience? <laughs> death experience. Oh my. Wow. These questions are good. These are all like really like what if this happens what if that happens what if this happens what if that like thinking of all of the worst case scenarios well yeah because you're over 400 pounds that's why and you're not in canada you're not surrounded by family or friends that's why i don't do that <laughs> like i try to develop my character to be able to deal with problems as they come up because they can happen but I don't anticipate them and, and give myself more anxiety. Like, do you, you must have a lot of anxiety in life. I don't know. Are you prepared to pass away without being near your mom or sister? Oh my God. <laughs> these are, these are quite depressing questions. Wow. She's just talked about, oh, you know, I don't think about these things this far into the, th that far into the future. I just live it day by day. And the Q and A is just like, what happened if you, what happens if you die in your sleep? Oh my goodness.
to be able to deal with problems as they come up because they can happen, but I don't anticipate them and, and give myself more anxiety. Like, do you, you must have a lot of anxiety in life. I don't know. Are you prepared to pass away without being near your mom or sister? Well, that is a possibility. You know, that's a possibility. Um, She's getting more and more annoyed. Anything can and will happen. Yes, it can. But I'm not going to not live my life and stay close to home just in case these things happen. Have you thought about if your life entirely, if your world entirely imploded? I mean, it's crossed my mind. But again, um... I believe that Allah gives us challenges that we can handle and if that happens, I mean, I'm not super attached to any material things anymore in my life. I'm not, I mean, if my health happens, I mean, I don't know, I really don't know how to answer that. Like, it's not something I worry about. No, I don't. <laughs> um, Salah's so proof of life, no. <laughs> Yeah, you're ne she's she's banned him from YouTube, basically. Are you seeing an endocrinologist for your diabetes? And if so, what do they have you on for meds? I am seeing an endocrinologist here. I did some vlogs on it. Um, I'm on Janumet right now, two thousand milligrams a day. Everyone asks questions, not just the sh not just the show, the questions you approve of. But why would I show hateful comments I don't want to answer? Before you moved to Kuwait, you wanted to adopt a baby. Is that still a plan? No, not right now. Of course not. I've, it never was a plan. Um, I don't know what the future is going to bring. She can barely deal with the cat. I have a lot of work on my oh, the hamster. myself to do. You know, I want to be responsible that way. It, maybe in the far future, I don't know. You know, even Salah's views on that has changed. So we're just, we just want to... Um, when I came back, we really talked about life goals as part of like, is it, you know, worth making this marriage work? And he just wants to be with me, regardless if that's, you know, he just wants to be with me, work on our relationship, stay off of YouTube, focus on me, focus on. Uh yeah, focus on you. But where, where is he? Where, where is he? Is he, is he in the gaming room? Is he, is he in his bedroom? You know, is he on one of the couches? Like, where is he? If he's, if he's, you know, quitting YouTube to focus on you, then where is he right now? Um, uh, his career, um, he's a smart guy. He's been to university. He wants to develop his life more. And he's a young guy, you know? So who knows in the future? I don't know. Are you on, are you on your way back to Canada right now? Yes. Yes. Why don't you do your walks on lives? That would be nice. I can do that. Sure. Did you ever consider your YouTube career could be hindering your weight loss motivation? No. That's that's completely true. Just like it does with Amber. I agree with that question. I don't think so. Yes. I I totally agree with that question. Because I don't I don't associate like any stress with youtube with like like i don't like get stressed out to the point where i like go and eat or from youtube you know like uh, if i if i rage or get mad i say what i gotta say and then that's it <laughs> and then it's gone you know that's like the good thing about letting it out it's gone after that i don't let it just like ruin my life i move on very easily i'm impulsive in decisions but that's also um I'm also like my my emotions come and go very quickly so I would say no I would say if anything it motivates me more because I have people on my side always trying to push me and even though I'm kind of like you know even though I haven't really been successful um, as you know to lose weight and get healthy yet I feel like the extra support after how many years support of people on my side makes it more motivating also, the fact that I could potentially help a lot of people. That's one thing I really, really um, like about it. I don't do mukbangs just for money or anything. I do it like... To yes, you do do it for money. <laughs> show you, I like having dinner with you guys. I don't do it like... You don't see me eating five burgers. If I have a slip up and I want to be honest about it, yeah, maybe I'll do it. But other than that... Will you, be in Canada, will you be in Canada for Ramadan? Your visa expires, doesn't it? How will you do Ramadan without Salah? 
none of what you just said is ever going to happen. So <laughs> like you imagine a total situation on your own there. No, I will not be in Canada for Ramadan. My visa expires, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Um, how will you do Ramadan without Salah? I won't be. Um, would you consider, where do you stand as far as trying a plant-based diet again, or even a vegetarian one that focuses on fresh fruit? Yeah, but that's never going to happen for her. She, she loves her meat and her fish. That's never going to happen for her. Fruits and veg and beans and legumes and whole grains, maybe some yogurt and feta and eggs in moderation. Golden milk and herbal teas and lots of water. Fresh juices in moderation for beverages. <laughs> you, I realize this got oddly specific, but I'd be happy with you just answering the first part. If you would ever consider going vegetarian or plant-based. Um, yeah, that's never going to happen. I would consider adding a lot more plant-based food in my diet for sure. You know, any diet uh, other than carnivore, um, keto... Well, keto certain vegetables, most like even my the, the you know the diabetic plan I'm on or um, anything you know you should be eating way more vegetables and soluble fiber. So yeah, I would definitely. But the thing is, is because of my eating disorder, like going to extremes is really hard for me right now. But I don't know. I love fish. I love chicken. So I'm not sure. But yeah, I, there's no way she's giving that up. I would incorporate more of those foods. I don't know where that cut off. I got a phone call. Um, I from who? From could be Sarah. Would incorporate more fruits and veggies in my diet for sure. Okay, I'm going to end with this one. Do you ever feel regretful about giving up your cats? You wish you could have taken them with you. Genuine, genuine questions. Um, yeah, I, I, it's hard to say I regret the decision because I don't feel like there was really any, like, I don't think that at the time, especially, I thought that it was a good idea to, um, rehome them because I didn't think it was a good idea taking them all the way to the Middle East, especially BBJ, who's very old and has a lot of health issues. So I was health issues because of you. But worried something would happen to them and I wanted to find them a loving home I thought that would be best it was probably the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life I don't believe you for one second life. they were a huge part of my life they were like my children that you abused regularly in a way I mean not you know what I mean pet children um, so while it hurts my heart every day <laughs> that I don't have them with me and that I rehomed them. I still don't know what other choice I could have made given the fact that, um, you know, I had very little time to make that decision. Well, not really. You had plenty of time, but, and I just, you just, you just chose to throw everything away for Kuwait. Yeah. I, I don't know what else I would have been able to do. Like I, at the time especially felt that so um it's too bad that i had to make that decision but um you know a lot of people have to rehome their pets when they move out of country some of them don't but a lot of people do so anyways um <laughs> that's it for this part one of the q a i'm sorry if i seem like snarky but i yeah she was very snarky i don't know how else to answer some of the questions without sounding that way because they're kind of like really they're triggering that's why really weird question like dumb questions like you're so ungrateful you're such an ungrateful what an ungrateful woman um but thank you asked you literally asked you literally said ask me anything idiot thank you guys for asking them anyways i'll get to the I'll just go down the list and make like as many parts as I need to answer them all. So don't worry if I didn't get to your questions. I'm just going down and I will get to yours eventually. <laughs> all right. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
you could tell that she hated every one of those questions sorry guys this was a long one but i had a lot to say because she's clearly in denial about her relationship her husband and kind of wants you to believe that she has no control over Salah, which is complete bullshit okay guys this was a long one um thank you for watching if you're if you're still here thank you for watching thanks for listening see you in the next one